Hi, good morning. It is Thursday morning here at the library, and I have a couple of crafts for y'all today. Um, one is a recipe. One is just a really quick game. Um, the paper was in the bag. Um, there was no instructions because I found it late after I had already set up these craft bags and um, or activity bags and um, so I just wanted to get them out as quickly as possible and, and get them loaded into the bags. So I'm going to tell you what you can do with those little dinosaur activities where it's like, you know, 10 jumping jacks, like uh, T-Rex jumping jacks and um, those things. Um, give you a couple of ideas that you can do with those. And then we are going to make our raptor snacks because today is Velociraptor Awareness Day. And I hope y'all enjoyed all of the information that were in your packages. And um, I hope y'all enjoy your, your raptor snacks as a treat today. All right, let's get started. All right, so what you have in your bag is this sheet here. So what you're going to want to do is to cut this out along the dotted lines. I've already done that for us with these. So... There are two different ways that you can play this game um, or this do this activity. You can mix them all up, turn them upside down, mix them up, and draw the cards like this and roar and stomp like a dinosaur for one minute. I'm not going to do that so y'all don't have to hear me roar and stomp my feet for one whole minute on this video. But this is what this is one way that you can play. You don't need anything extra. You just have the paper that I gave you and you cut those out and you're ready to go. If y'all have one of these square ish tissue boxes, you can tape these fun little pictures to the sides. There are six pictures this um, box of tissue has not been used so there are still tissues in it so that will change how they roll um, if you have an empty box of course that'll work too um, but my family doesn't usually buy these. They we buy the the big boxes. Cause I have a I have a pretty big family. So when allergy season hits our house, we we have some stuffy noses. I'll just remember when you do T Rex jumping jacks, you have to. You have you have little arms. Your arms have to stay close into your sides. Shake your tail. Let's pretend you have a tail like a dinosaur. Now, I didn't tape this down really, really well. Like I said, it's a brand new box of Kleenex. So, I didn't want to make it to where it was impossible for me to get the tape off of it. Um, but, I will show you what you do. Alright, so, what you'll do... Hold on, I think I'm still sideways. Oh, maybe... I'm sorry if I'm going to make y'all dizzy for a second. I forgot and turned my phone the wrong way. Okay. So, because mine still has tissues in it, it's a little heavier. So, this will be more of a flip for me than a roll. And so, you'll just flip that. And then, whatever it lands on, y'all all have to do. So, this is to hop on one foot five times for with each foot. And y'all just keep playing until y'all are... Y'all are done playing, and that is this game. It's super fun and super interesting for the kiddos to do, 
and they get exercise out of it too. All right, so that is that game. I hope y'all enjoy it. And like I said, there's there's different ways that you can play that. And I hope y'all have fun. So, Raptor Snacks. Guys, I made up this recipe. So, it is very, very diverse. You can do all kinds of things with this. The recipe is also, I posted it to Facebook. So, if you did not pick up a packet, you can pull the recipe off of our Facebook page. So we're going to use two cups of popped popcorn. I just popped a bag of popcorn. Um, two cups of rice cereal, like Chex Mix. Um, two cups of pretzels. I've got the tiny, the tiny twists. But the sticks will work. The the square ones will work. Like pretzels. I just like pretzels. Um, one cup of mini of M and M's. I have a mix between M&M, like peanut M&M's, and dark chocolate M&M's. I have probably more than a cup in here, because um, I just poured some out into this little baggie. I um, took it from my husband and my children um, for the sake of this craft video um but don't feel bad for them they they get plenty of treats um and um some mini marshmallows and we're gonna melt some white chocolate so in this bag or in this in this bag guys the time change has gotten me this week I just don't know where I'm going if I'm coming or going I hope y'all are faring better better than I am see I can't even talk know that I appreciate y'all putting up with all of my shenanigans so, this does not of course, have to be exact measurements. This is not like baking. So, if it's more than two cups, you're not going to hurt anything. And when you're working with bulky things like pretzels, I'm so sorry, um, it's hard to get those exactly measured correctly. Um, also, I had this idea just the other day. I, of course, I like salty and sweet stuff or I wouldn't be mixing, you know, the white chocolate marshmallows and pretzels and popcorn all together. But if you like spicy and sweet, you could take the popcorn and pretzels and cereal and season that up and then bake it in the oven for just a little bit and then add all the sweet stuff and then you could spice it up with however, you know, whatever tastes good to you. I would probably use a little Cajun seasoning myself because... That stuff's just good. And I think I'm going to add a little more than two cups of popcorn, honestly. Because, number one, I had this whole bag of popcorn. And what am I going to do with it at 8 o'clock in the morning? Or 10 o'clock in the morning? You know, save it for later, but... So I'm going to add three cups of popcorn because I just really like popcorn. And if your family doesn't like popcorn, you can add more cereal. You can pick a different kind of cereal instead of, you can use rice checks and then corn checks. Make it like a, a checks mix of sorts.
So you're going to want to wait and put your marshmallows and your M&Ms in after you've put the melted white chocolate in. Because number one, if with the if the white chocolate being too warm, it will muddy the colors of your M&Ms and melt your M&Ms. And we don't want that. And it will also melt your marshmallows. And, and we don't want to have melted marshmallows this time. We just want them hanging out in there. And um, I couldn't find any of the, the colored marshmallows. But I know they still have some. Because I saw some not too terribly long ago. Um, so I just got regular plain marshmallows. This is going to be really loud, guys, so I'm going to pause it for just a second. Okay. So, I just mixed all that up. So, that is done. Now, let me... Ooh, hold on just a second. Alright, so I put some Crisco in my pot. So, we're going to melt... Some white chocolate. Now, I know, guys, I did not give you a measurement for this. It's because this part is kind of to taste. Um, I just wanted enough to kind of bind everything together. I did not have any food coloring at home. I thought I did, but I did not because um, I was going to color some leftover put it in a Ziploc bag, cut the corner off of it, and then drizzle the top so it would look pretty. But I'm not going to do that because I don't have, I, I don't have any food coloring. And, um, so I'm going to go ahead and melt this entire bag. It's just a, let me see if I can see here. Reading glasses are amazing. It's just an 11 ounce bag of white chocolate chips. The cool thing with this is, is that when, like, no, no matter what, if you don't use it all, that is perfectly fine. You can cool it and put it in a Ziploc, and it will harden back up. And then you can use it in cookies. You can melt it again for another thing. Um, refrigerate it. So just make sure that it's in a, in a good... Um, airtight Ziploc type container um, so that way it does not get it can, white chocolate has a tendency to get flavors that are in your refrigerator which might not necessarily be good if you've made you know tuna fish might not might not speak to everybody all right, and as you can see, this melts really fast. You remember the last time that I did this at the library and I forgot to bring Crisco and how that was a fiasco. Um, I appreciate how patient y'all are with me when I mess stuff up. So that's it. Look, it melted just that fast and it's, it's smooth. It's pourable, but it will harden up. So, this part is going to be a little loud, and for that, I do apologize, but there is no getting around this metal thing. So, what I'm going to do is just going to drizzle this over the top. Put a couple of spoonfuls on, and then I'm going to stir that up. Like I said, I don't want um, it to be soggy by any means, but I do want it to coat everything. And with us stirring it, 
we're cooling it down and there's going to be some pieces that may not have as much coverage which is fine but we want to work before it gets too terribly cold so it it does actually put, get some on our M&Ms and I'm just going to grab a handful of this and like I said I used peanut M&Ms and dark chocolate M&Ms so I mean this is really you can pick whatever flavor of M&Ms your household likes this is just two of my my house's favorite kinds of M&Ms and then mix those in to give it a little color. I think I may add a little more. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm just... My kids will enjoy this snack. Or I guess I should say treat. This really wouldn't be a snack. I try to make them pick snacks that are not quite so filled with sugar, but you know, every once in a while is not bad. This week, I know I've, I've done a lot of food stuff. Next week, we're going to have a, just a purely craft video. And that one's going to be a lot of fun. And so I'm just going to eyeball the marshmallows. We've got crunchy and, and sweet and salty. And, and this is it, guys. This is all there is to it. You just let that finish cooling up completely and you store it in an airtight container and you've got a great, like if y'all have your favorite dinosaur movie tonight, this can be your treat for movie night um, and y'all can have, just, you know, sit down and have, have a fun little movie gathering with, the, with your family. And I hope y'all enjoy this, and you let me know if y'all try it, and what y'all think. I bet all the M&Ms are on the bottom, because that's, they're hiding from me. <laughs> but, um, I'm gonna flip this around and, oh, sorry. Oh, look at my nose, I was standing up. But, um, but yeah, y'all just have a great time, and I hope y'all enjoyed the packets this week. There will be another packet next week and another packet the week after that. We're just going to have a lot of packets here coming up. So just keep watching what we've got going on. And y'all have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. Thank y'all so much for joining me.